Hola. So it's another interesting sky observation, everybody. I'm in the beautiful my camera's trying to focus here, but I'm in the beautiful Huntington Beach. I think this is quite interesting. What's refracting in my lens. And you see how we have all these different oval like shapes. So that tells me something is happening up there that is casting a cloak that's here. On, on our plane on earth if that makes any sense I really don't know what that is anyways how are you guys so I was making a short brief hiatus for making videos because um, I just wanted to process a lot of things that I've been posting and saying and not overdo it with how much um, this is just a lot of information so I just want to make certain that you know I'm sane and making certain that you know um, that what I put out has its own time and resonance with people and in due time make another post um i don't know what else i wanted to mention but it's just been a, a very interesting uh, mercury retrograde i was expecting worse the things are kind of like calm and it was funny because in the locker room of the gym today a guy was kind of saying uh ah, and i'm like you can say that again and he said calm before the storm so i'm wondering if that has some placement with what we're dealing with now is now a calm before the storm are the holidays going to be a little a break for us before things get very intense um i did a lot of channeling for december and i know towards the end of december we're going to see quite a bit of some events uh coming up um and then i'm working on a post regarding Christmas and how the Christmas tree has to do with the symbolisms of the elite which is why I do not have a Christmas tree and um, who is really uh, the figure person that we um, idolize during um, Christmas you know um, King Mitra people don't really know about that so I'll be sharing a lot uh, in those coming videos but um, let's go back to the weird sky. So I was laughing at my um, sixth grade science teacher because I was talking about chemtrails on Facebook and of course He's in. He's a meteorologist, and he was saying there's no such thing as chemtrails. This goes all the way up, you guys. And then there's even this weird. Uh, is that what it is? I can't find it on the camera. There it is. It's like this uh, triangle. I just think it's weird. You see how like the texture of this cloud is very different from these. And it's just, they're just a perfect symmetrical. I really do not know how to explain that.
guy has a mind of its own, I guess, right? And if you didn't know, there's a sun halo. You see right here. I like doing these sky observations because um, they really help. That was a big truck. They really help opening uh, your mindset to uh, opening your consciousness, opening your awareness um, to a higher state. I think without being open and optimistic to all the foreign things in the sky and the, the UFO, you know, theories and whatnot, we wouldn't be, you know, where we are right now. I think it's pretty cool because, you know, I, I share with people, my first encounter was in 2015 and that puppy was very close to me and um, it was a little bit frightening because I really didn't know what was going to happen. Was I really going to be put on a ship and all my guts were going to be opened up and were they going to patch me back and send me back to earth i didn't know but i felt it was almost as though like i felt like there was communication there was this sense of um uh warmth there's a sense of um uh, you know be our communication be the leader on earth to help you know assist and i was like no i don't want to and uh, it was funny because even at, at that time, I moved to uh, Northern California for like four months. And those same um, uh, anomalies followed me. And uh, I freaked out a lot. And I ended up coming back. And I haven't seen one since until uh, a year ago. So anyways, what happened to my camera? Yeah, but uh, I was just sharing with everyone that, you know, I've been going through a lot of personal circumstances and working a lot. Uh, as you know, living in Los Angeles, it's really difficult. Um, I'm trying to make my camera brighter. It's difficult living in Los Angeles. Uh, it, it, everything costs so much money. And uh, I have to work, so sometimes I have to avoid... You know, paying attention to the news and the media and all that stuff. And, um, yeah, but it just, I don't know. I know my calling, but it's just, you know, sometimes the enemy knows how to get you. You know, and, and it's it, it's sad when it's mostly, like, finances or, you know, having to do... Like, for me, I have to Uber drive. Yeah, I'm an Uber driver. Uh, I have no shame. I'm very personal about my life. Outside of my full-time profession and so uh, it's it's no coincidence the people who you know end up in my car and their journeys and what they have to share and like there was a guy yesterday who gave me uh, a name of someone to research and I forgot to remember it but I'll put it in my description box below and it's really healthy to um, you know read and just have some grounding with uh, literature uh, in terms of metaphysics and spirituality because there's a lot that we don't know but we're on this path to learn together you know so um one more look at the sky and i'll let you guys go but things are okay things are fine um nothing negative uh, i just needed some time to breathe and digest you know what I was receiving and what's coming in, going through the shifts. Uh, I don't like to overload everybody with too much information because uh, I don't want to be someone who people are um, eager to learn from. We are to learn for, from ourselves, you know. Um, if you didn't watch that last video I posted about um, not allowing those te to teach us and not having uh, teachers on the media really watch that video because there's people out there who really try to uh, manipulate you to think that you know they're your guru and they know everything but we must be careful all right so here we go with our last view 
So I'm looking behind these guys here now and there's this interesting old sky. Sorry I yawned. What do you guys think that's all about? It's like they are exactly perfect in shape and they're moving. And it's fascinating because that little spot that I shot earlier is in the same position. These are all moving uh, north. Should I say hello? <laughs> um, I'm very uh, conspicuous if in fact uh, I'm going to talk about these in another video. These shadows. Um, I don't think anyone's quite ready for that topic and discussion. Um, yeah, it's far out there. save that for another discussion oh and for uh, the um, anti kim trail committee that is a real airplane and it doesn't have a trail behind it <laughs> there's your proof that uh anyways i digress have a wonderful day, everybody. Love you. Have a good day.